Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I want to thank all of you who are a member of my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com, which I launched in December of 2018, and it's been going really, really well. I really started pushing it, I should say, around January of 2019, and here we are in November of 2020, and this course, the platform I chose, has been wonderful to work with. So I wanted to answer a couple questions in this video, which basically is, what do I use for my forums? And I have a video of when I had set up Discourse and I liked it, and this is my endorsement further of Discourse. I will talk about some of the technical details and some of the challenges that have come with running Discourse and my forums over the last couple of years and why I plan to continue using Discourse. Before we dive into that, let's first... If you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free, and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. We'll begin here on the about page discourse.org slash about. Discourse is the 100% open source software platform built for the next decade of internet use. Use it as a mailing list, discussion forum, long form chat room, and more. And I have a lot of other details on here, but one of the things I wanna start right here, and this is something very important, being a big open source advocate, they are uncompromisingly open source and there's only one version of Discourse. There's not like a pay a little more to get a few extra features version. There is just Discourse and you can download it and you can host it yourself and maintain total control of how you want to implement your forums. This is really important because this is not a control you're going to get if you host it somewhere. And I'll use Facebook as an example. If you put it on Facebook, you are termed and conditioned to the way Facebook wants that forum run. And then you can apply your rules on top of that. But the base rules, of course, and hosting and your data will essentially be owned by that forum company, depending on you know their policies. With Discourse, you own all of the data, but they do provide hosting, which is why there's a pricing option here. So in case you're wondering, is it free? Yes, but the pricing is for those of you that are less technical and don't want to deal with the ins and outs of setting it up, you can set up the hosting with Discourse, and that's their business model. The software is free, hosting costs something, got to host it somewhere. And if you don't want to deal with managing it, they have an option for that. And by the way, there's no affiliation between me and Discourse. I'm a user of Discourse, but I have no affiliate offer or anything. This is pricing as of November 2020 as published on their website. Now, where do I host it? Because I will admit, at least I'm not hosting it with them. I am a server admin, so I don't have any problems hosting things myself. I set this up as a digital ocean droplet. And this is what that forum looks like running on a digital ocean, four gig of memory, $20 a month droplet. That's what digital ocean charges me per month for this particular instance. Now, I do have an affiliate link, full disclosure down below, if you do want to sign up for DigitalOcean. And that's actually mentioned because this is how I fund my forums and not that 20 bucks a month is that much, but the few clicks I get when people sign up with that affiliate link gives me a credit for DigitalOcean droplets. That credit is then applied towards the discourse droplets or any other droplets I have that I use for demos in my videos. And that is kind of how the ecosystem works. So full disclosure on that. But as you can tell, it doesn't take a ton of horsepower to run. Now on the back end, this is running uh, Ubuntu 18.04. I have unattended upgrades come on because, well, I like to make sure it's always up to date and patched all the time because public facing forums. And yes, that's my forums IP address right here, which of course you can get to at forums.lawrencesystems.com. At any given moment, there's always attacks on there. So if there's a patch that needs to be applied, I have them automatically applied, which I know some people may find risky, but so is having the forums compromised and everyone's data potentially leaked it would be a big headache. So I make sure this stays up to date. But back to the discourse pricing, if you don't want to deal with any of that, that's the option they have here. Now, as far as installation, I have this installed using their Docker install guide. I believe I followed their advanced Docker install guide to do some customization. One of those important customization pieces is using a mail system. 
So the forums are tied to Mailgun, which is a pretty popular outbound mail provider. And that's gone really well too. So I've been using this just as long as I've been using Discourse. So close to two years later, and right now this is like a 90 day snapshot. It's processed about 35,000 emails with an 85% delivery rate. Sometimes people register bad email addresses in there or they're having some type of problem. So yeah, there's a spikes of undelivered email, but overall Mailgun has worked really, really well and has not really been any type of headache for me. It's also a subdomain forums.lawrencesystems.com and I have the proper mail records and SPF records set up with that subdomain for this. These are all little details that are really important if you want to get your forums up and running and not just end up in everybody's spam box. Now, I mentioned only the 10% usage. What does that look like in terms of my forums itself? We'll head over here, we're gonna go to the admin and we'll just jump back for the last year. And this is the kind of hits I get on the forum. Now, occasionally there's videos that are really popular and right here we'll see, yeah, we had a pretty good spike Let's see if I can get it to mouse over that exact point. Um, it hits about 10,000, I think, users that particular day. 10,000 page views, I should say, not users. It identifies each person that comes in here. But the differences are we have logged in users, anonymous users, and crawlers. Now, one of my big reasons for the forums is because many times when I do a video, there's questions and the YouTube comment system is, well, bad. And I wanted a way to have a back and forth, good, engaging discussion with people on any of the video and topics I talk about. That being said, I've managed to build quite the community here of really smart people that I want to say thank you, because many of them have answers even better than mine to different questions. And my forums, of course, are all public. Anyone can come in here, sign up. All you need is a valid email address. And no, this is one of the reasons I use it. I'm not selling your email address. I wanted it to be a good community engaged discussion, but I did not want to subject you to terms and conditions of whatever different forum place. Back to what I said at the beginning, this course makes that relatively easy to do. Now, as far as the updates go, perform upgrades here, pretty simple. And Whenever there's new commits, here's the Docker manager and to the discourse itself. First, you update the Docker manager, then you update after that's done, this part here, relatively straightforward. Now, the only problems I've had in two years of doing updates is sometimes it doesn't seem to prune out the old versions of Docker, but that's not too big of a deal because the solution to that is you can run the prune command and get rid of the old versions that kind of get stuck in there. But if you're someone who's not technical savvy and aren't comfortable with setting any of that up, then you may want to look, as I said, at the hosted version they have on there. But overall, the upgrades have gone really smooth and provided there's enough space for everything no problem. Uh, the upgrades are pretty pain free. I did run out of space once. That's why I learned about pruning. Uh, completely my fault for not paying attention. But before we get off topic, I will mention just general backups. They're actually pretty easy too. You kick off the backups. It has a download option. And if I had to do a restore or re-upload or take my data, which right now really isn't that much. I mean, 549 megs, not too big once it's compressed. And I can upload that to a new instance of the forums, if I need to replace this, no big deal. I keep regular backups of all of this and currently restore is disabled. They have a really uh, solid method by which you have to go in there and it doesn't let just anyone restore. So they've got a process for that. I found the documentation good and my overall experience with this whole system has gone really, really well. And I've still enjoying all the people and community that have uh, been able to engage with me and engage with each other as well. Uh, the forums have been a good place to tie all of that together, as well as, and if you may, may have noticed over here, when we look at the admin page, the number of crawlers. That is because many of the topics in the forums get indexed by the different web search engines, Google, of course, and others. And this allows people who are looking for things, which leads to the number of anonymous users that come visit this each day, for people looking for a solution to a problem and finding that solution frequently posts in our forums through one of the discussions of how to accomplish something or a tech question that needed to be answered. So I'm going to continue on with using Discourse. If you're looking at forum software, my big thing is I want to recommend this and kind of, you know, kind of give it an endorsement essentially to say, yes, this is the forum software I have been using. It has gone really well in the last two years. And for the foreseeable future, I plan to keep using it. Uh, the spam moderation has been an absolute minimum. They do a good job with all the default systems of detecting whether or not someone's spamming. And because you need to use email to register, it kind of stops some of the automated systems from 
really attacking it. This is not a challenge by which to say you can't run a system that won't automatically sign up new users and dump a bunch of garbage in there. I've just seen a minimal of it in the last couple of years. I probably only have to moderate eh, one or two spam messages every week, if that. It's been pretty minimal. So overall, I've been really happy with that. Hopefully that doesn't change. And uh, they're pretty easy because it puts them in a flag, it puts them in a queue. I can delete the user and delete the post, which never, none of my other users even seen the post. It's usually some a uh, sign up offer link for something stupid is the ones that seem to be persistently uh, showing up on here. But like I said, that's a pretty minor problem and was definitely a concern at the beginning. Two years later, hasn't really been a problem, which uh, that's turned out really well. So thank you to all of you that have signed up for my forums. If you are looking to, for a way to engage with me, that is the place to be uh, because that's where I spend at least a couple times a day. I go in there and try to reply to everything. And I do mean like I'm there all the time replying, engaging, not to mention there's a lot of smart people in there. So if you have a question, you'll find let me answer it too. So this is just my endorsement for discourse, kind of a follow-up on what it looks like two years later. And I'm excited to see where it's going as we build community around it and all of you join or just find answers and questions you're looking for. I, I don't need your data. If you just want to go visit, you can completely anonymously surf over to there. I don't require a login to view the topics. All this is public and to me, part of the greater tech education ecosystem that I like to be part of. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.